Well, down here on the lower yard, um, gonna do a quick assessment, burn through them, just kind of see where they're at, make sure everything still looks good. Nothing really particular, just a welfare check on them, basically, just see how they're holding up. There's not a lot of flow going on. There's a little bit, but got some honey supers in case I need to drop some on and just kind of do an assessment. I got some queens that are ready to go to drop into some boxes if the queens are looking like they're not doing very good. So probably going to get down into the brood chamber and see how that looks and go from there. Going to get the smoker lit up and then we'll get some footage. All right, we're just going to dive in here and see what's going on. Got some good white wax up here. Looks like they filled that out. A couple of empty frames on the side here. But for the most part, there. It's actually got quite a bit of honey in there, it looks like. I wonder if these guys need a new box. Yeah, that's a solid frame of honey there. Good deal. Lots of brood, look at that. Look at that brood pattern. This colony needs another box for sure. Getting a little late, but man, they've sure packed that out. Look like they might be backfilling a little bit on the brood nest. Look at that. Just, uh, just beautiful. I had a beautiful brood, or brood frames there. Lots of pollen and resources in that one. Another beautiful brood frame. Got eggs down in there. This queen's doing well. This box is very established. I'm going to put this empty frame, or non-drawn out frame, right down here in the center and let them kind of target that one. And that's, that's a good frame of honey right there. Don't want to ruin it there. It's pretty fat. Here's a good looking honey box. They're packing that part out pretty good. Um, not so much on this frame and that. Well, maybe they are. Yeah, they're putting some in there. But this is, this makes me happy right here. If I can get that out. Getting some pretty good frames of honey up here. Probably could go ahead and add them. A, oh yeah, another super. Yep, that is right full of honey. Fresh white cap. Sweet. So I'm actually gonna take this where there's more up here. I don't know, I like to do this. Some people just add the box right on it, but since this is mostly full, I like to personally take, this is just Bracken's opinion. Oh yeah, that's a box full of honey there. I like to take this box and I'll put it on top and still even entrance. That's way that way when these bees are coming through, my theory is is they just don't have to travel all the way up to the top to store it. And since the top's pretty much full, we'll just leave it on top and they can they'll add to it. They'll put more up there obviously, but that's just something that I I don't know. I have time to take the lid off and put it on sometimes, so I know some people don't have time, so they just put it up top. And man, I hate how they plug these wax, or how they wax up these queen excluders. 
assuming this nest is doing fairly well since they're putting so much up in that box. I do want to crack it and look here. I don't know if you can see that on. Yeah, still got, yeah, that's a good brood nest there. We got some swarm cells there, but they're uh, they're not gonna swarm. Yeah, they look pretty good. They haven't quite pushed out to these outside frames, but I lied. There's a lot going on. Yeah, that's a good looking box right there. Oh yeah, I did add this box. Oh. Got some stuck. There we go. Yeah, there's some honey. Not much. Some nice white wax. Putting on there. Look like they're doing all right. They don't need more room. They've got quite a bit of space they need to utilize. Well, I got through the bee yard. Some are getting some honey, some are doing decent. Um, that colony obviously is producing quite a bit of honey for me. I had this one right here with the lid upside down needs to be requeened, quite a bit of bees. So I, what I actually did with that one is I left five frames in the bottom of that box open and I am going to this evening go grab a five frame nook with a queen in it and come and drop it in there and try that out and requeen that. I did that with this one and it worked. This was a requeen that I did in one of my other videos um, and it requeened and they're taking it well. For the most part, colonies are doing pretty good. I had a, I had a drone layer over here that I um, this colony right here, this little single box was right here. Um, but I took that one, shook out the bees, put this one that has a queen back in its place. So kind of trying to just equal things out. Things look pretty decent. Not as much honey as I got last year, but, but we're getting some, so that's okay. It's just so dry and hot. We need some rain and... Well, I've sure got it yeah, a little feisty right off the bat. Maybe they're uh, queenless. Or maybe they killed her when I moved her or something. No, nope, she's right there. Purple dot, that's the one. Oh, that's old wingless. That's wingless queen. Wingless was on one of the uh, previous videos, but let's get in and see how her brood nest is looking. Whole wingless. At least she's still alive. They're kind of. Let's see here how they're doing. Yeah, there's some brood, good brood pattern. Got eggs and larvae going. Not a lot of capped brood on that frame. Maybe this frame's got some. Oh yeah. Capped brood on there, on there. She's doing pretty good. And I noticed this frame here, this was a brand new empty frame when I put it in. So that's all drawn out new wax, so that's good. So it looks like those ones are doing okay. I'd like to try to overwinter these nooks and see how they do. That's my plan. So old wingless is doing good. I'm going to write E, B for eggs and brood, and then I write the date 
That way I know if there's eggs or brood, there was a queen in there looking good. Also gonna write wingless on that one. Gonna show this one here. This is one of my single brood management boxes. I've got the excluder on there, so I kinda wanna pull this frame up. Oh yeah, that's a heavy frame of honey there. Yep, they're uh, <clears throat> they're filling those frames up. I'm gonna kind of slide those maybe more on the outside here and see. Give these ones that are good and capped. Put them on the ends. Drop some of these emptier frames here in the center. Oh yeah, that's a solid sheet of honey there. Wanna check below the excluder real quick. Just quickly. Make sure she's got enough room. See how far she's pushed out the brood nest here. Make sure you can see that. Looks like my phone might be overheating. Here comes the heat. That's nectar pushed out that far. That one feels like it's all nectar. No, there's brood and eggs down in there. So second frame to the edge, she's pushed it out. Yep, lots of brood there, lots of brood there. Okay, so this one's, this single brood's doing good. I don't mind if they have a little bit of honey on the sides to have. Oh, and that box is heavy. I like this. I really like the single brood management idea, and I think I'm going to adapt it fairly heavily into my operation maybe next year. The problem is, is I want to send my bees to California as well for the almonds, but the problem with that is they like two deep boxes. So these are my single brood management swarms that I caught this year. I know they're doing fairly well. Yeah, that one's doing really well, actually. Probably could use another box. So I'm gonna go untie one here in just a second and drop it. Yep, that one's got some honey. Oh. I'm gonna check the brood nest real quick. I'm just trying to burn through these a little bit and get an idea of what's going on. No eggs or larvae on the second frame to the end. Okay, lots of eggs and larvae right there, yep. That one's doing really good. Yep, clear full of brood, lots of bees. I like it. I'm happy. I'm going to put the excluder on. Stupid dried weeds. Put the excluder on. I'm going to grab a honey box real quick. Okay, I got me a super here. Do the old shake. A little bit of even space in there. Add that and hope. Oh, 
Oh man, that is, that's a box of honey there. That's good. Eggs, brood, eight, nine. Hopefully this box needs one too. Man, they can seal those lids down. It is quite impressive. Yeah, I think they're gonna need another box as well. Very calm, wow. Probably didn't even need to smoke them there. Yeah, that's another, oh. Swarm needing another box. Check in here, I wanna see the brood. I can tell you she hasn't gone out, hasn't pushed out terribly far. Got some nectar on that one and some pollen. Can't see any eggs on that one. Oh yeah, brood. And there's eggs pushed out. Okay. They're looking good. Gonna do the same thing, gonna grab them a super. Gonna have to step order it today. I don't have my tripod with me, so. I'm gonna check these a little bit and see what they look like. I've been in a pretty good spot with pretty good little flow going. One handed, that's a nice thick frame of honey right there. These girls have always been a little testy. Could be that big thunderhead rolling in. That's always something that bothers them. Let's see. Yeah, they're pumping out some on that one. I want to check this now. The top box. Yeah, that's pretty good. Pretty good little box of honey there as well. That's a nice fat frame. Pretty sure this box was down here though, and I reversed it, so hopefully they're filling that one up. But that's looking pretty good. That's fuller than the last time I checked. Some good white wax right there, so I think they're doing all right. This is my mountain colony that's right up here by the mountains. It's actually my in-laws place so let's come over and see the in-laws and check on bees yeah those ones are doing pretty good too need to put the camera away and break down into this second box and see if they're filling that up if they are I need to get another super on these if that one's still pretty empty then this will be enough but I'm gonna shut the camera off while I do this because I don't have my tripod so I'm gonna hurry and bust it out and see well thanks for watching the video um, my phone died because it got overheated uh, died I guess it overheated when I was at the river band apiary so I didn't get to finish that one off didn't get to say goodbye but just checked these ones they're all producing doing pretty good um, Probably need to get another super on this one right here. Took these deeps off the top. They're filling those middle ones up pretty decent. Um, unfortunately, they just cut all the hay down here that was blooming. There was pretty good source going there for a little while. Father-in-law's field is still blooming, so that's good. We'll get some out of that. I don't know if you guys can hear the thunder, but 
Probably not. Man, I wish we could get some rain. I wish we could take that and put it over there on the farm, but as you can see, it's clear skies over there. Might get a little drizzled, but it'll be enough to make the ground wet and the truck windshield dirty, but it won't do any good with this dry place. But bees are, bees are looking good. Pretty good. I think there's a decent flow going on. I think most of it was all these alfalfa fields, but now they're cut, so probably see it slow down a little bit. Ooh, gonna get lit up, but I like this spot. Bees seem to do pretty good. So, well, thanks for watching.